the coffee's kind of dulled down a little bit. It's a little bit more mild in flavour than with milk. Milk was much more nutty, caramels. This has really dulled down that taste of coffee inside there, which is really strange. It's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but it does, um, does bring down that taste a little bit. There's a slight kind of organic flavour in there, uh, but it's not unpleasant. That's got a very distinct flavour. I can't taste the coffee at all, I don't think, but there is a bitterness to it, which is not massively pleasant. It's a very planty, a little bit of that kind of plasticine kind of element that you get from soya, you tend to generally get that kind of thing. It's a little bit nicer, I'd say, than soya. It's a bit creamier, uh, but I really can't taste the coffee in that, and there's a weird after feel in the mouth, actually. But it's definitely one of the more interesting ones for actually blending. We can see how it's really struggling to blend with uh, potentially with the oils and maybe the, the, the liquid, the water that's inside the espresso. It's not a horrible taste. It's just a bit unusual. And there is a, the aroma of that kind of Play-Doh, but in actual taste-wise, it's actually quite sweet. And I can taste some of the coffee through. Hazelnut does complement the coffee quite nicely, actually. Yeah, the coffee itself kind of got almost like an almondy element to it, it's a little bit nutty in itself. It's really nice and sweet. Um, yeah, it really plays nicely, actually, to the flavour. Very delicious. And um, it's got that very nice almondy, marzipan kind of feel to it. Um, it is delicious, but I can't taste the coffee, and I think that's what's lacking there. Very overpowering with flavour. It's not um, horrible in any way, shape or form, it's very delicious. This coffee itself does generally have a sort of almondy element to it, so I'm wondering if maybe that's where it's being masked. Very nice, I could drink this one, but I think you're losing the quality of the coffee. There's something very pleasant about that. Um, it's quite sweet, um, deliciously sweet actually. Uh, the coffee does add a nice richness to it. I can taste the coffee through it. Quite bitter, a little bit watery. There's a slight hint of coconut, but it's not not massively present actually. There's just an overwhelming bitterness. You know, I can taste the coffee through it. It's not too bad. There's no sweetness in that. There's a bitterness. There's watery. I can't taste the coffee at all. It's weird how the coffee just disappears in these milks. It's got that weird aftertaste as well, weird. It dries the mouth out a little bit. Um, no, not a good coffee compliment. It's definitely got like a milk flavour to it. It's a bit strange, it does remind me of milk. It's not as sweet as some of the other ones that we've tasted. Definitely, it loses a little bit of sweetness. It hasn't got a high bitterness like some of the others that we did, but there's definitely a mild bitterness in there. Um, I think it's maybe one of the more balanced, actually, of the milks that we've tried. A very nice compliment to the coffee, I think. And the coffee is coming through. It's mild. It's a 
It's got that bitterness that I've had in the other milks in there. It's got like a lasting, that lasting impression that I got from another a couple of those, like almost like an oiliness. It leaves your, leaves your mouth feeling a little bit weird. Uh, taste wise, I can't really taste the coffee at all. It's not really coming through on that one, but it's not quite as um, evident as the ones that had those plasticine elements to them, but it's that kind of thing. It's something just a bit odd in the background there. Not the most enjoyable in any way.